three of this playthrough with two lights and two mediums if you're joining from YouTube. Uh, I'm also going to be trying to stream it on Twitch today. So if I am talking to myself, if it looks like I'm talking to someone, it may be from Twitch chat. I don't think I'm going to get any or many viewers at all, though, so probably not going to really see any of that. Just kind of sitting at my windows here a little bit. So one of the problems with uh, streaming it, in addition to just pre-recording it, is there's this kind of part where uh, you can't see that Twitch aspect. So we'll see how this goes and whether I choose to continue this or not. Okay, so we were just about to do this contract. Which contract is this? Hmm. I don't recall which one I chose. Okay, well, I assume I had picked one that made sense at the time. And uh, everything's good to go. There's some pilots that are injured, but we can make do without them. This is a one and a half difficulty. So, Shadowhawk's ready to go now. And it's an interesting choice because it has higher DPS. And I have what? Jump jets? Three jump jets? No, five jump jets apparently. One, two, three, four, five. Two extra heat sinks. Did this have extra heat sinks? This has one extra heat sink. This is interesting because it has AT2 at long range. But this has more armor by a good deal actually. More firepower, more heat efficiency, lower range, but not bar bar bleh, bothered by the range. Higher movement is nice. Better melee is also nice. So we're gonna put the Shadowhawk in. Shadowhawk first. And we need a bulwark person. Uh, let's see, is that how we want it? Make sense this way. It's probably fine either way. Okay, so we're at about the recommended difficulty level here. This should be pretty easy. So this is a playthrough where I'm going to try and just use two lights and two mediums as my lance. Um, I'm trying this because after my previous playthrough, using heavies and assaults, it gets quite easy towards the end. Uh, so this is to both see if it's possible to do this, and to see if light mechs are even viable at all in the late game. What are those? Trees? What are those trees? They look like trees to me. This is what marsh. 50% stability damage reduction from all attacks. Okay. So we're just gonna sprint Don't need up. Don't to tell me twice. On the move. Aye aye. Location confirmed. I'm just saying this is a little choke. There's trees on either extreme edge. So I'll probably go along the edges. Um, Will I go along the edges? Does it make sense there? Uh huh. Coordinates received. We got company. I don't think I want to get too spread out. I don't know if that rock is going to block my sight or not. My way. I'm not sure if it's tall enough. We can do this. Let's go. It's 
four lights. Okay. I actually prefer if it didn't block on this site right now. Yeah, because I'd like them to shoot at me. Just so they don't have a uh, brace. I'm going to reserve down let them move first. Because I don't want them to take shots on my people that try and hit them. PPC didn't hit. The Panther. Another PPC. Please don't hit. Ooh, did hit. Ouch. Armor blow through. Internal damage. I'm glad that didn't destroy the weapons inside. Uh, okay, so. That's not particularly good. This commando is scarier, but he's. Braced, so we're probably not going to hit him. Uh, Panther has 390 armor, it's 240 armor. Waiting on you, Commander. Hmm. Commander. So the first question is, can I jump jet behind someone and report them? Not with him. Maybe the commando. Receiving you. No, so I can't get behind anyone this turn. Receiving you. I do have enough morale. Waiting for orders. I can actually get the Panther from the front if I go here, but my chance to hit is too low. If I go here, I have a reasonable chance to hit. I could sensor lock this one. Would it kill him outright? It might just kill him outright three times. Uh, what, 6, 12, 16 missiles times 8, 80 plus 48, 128 in a bit. I think if I just do that and call shot, it would probably kill him. So we're going to take out that commando like that. this. If I jump, I can reach the panther or the commando, but I can only shoot that panther on the side, but it's his right arm, and his right arm is the PPC arm. If I were to jump here, my chance to hit is quite bad. If I jump here, it's probably also quite bad. I can also sensor lock, so maybe that's the better choice. Let's take this tree. Sensor lock. This panther. Ready for orders. And then this Jenner wants to get five movement charges. And shoot this panther. This panther is identical, I assume. Shoot at him. Um, he has a hundred seven, so we couldn't dig through it if we did a precision shot, so we're just going to shoot normally. If we do two precision shots, we could. 54 chance to hit. Because the commando could go next, and then we can get two people to core. Might actually be a good idea. I copy. Pretty good. Aye, aye. Can I get closer with the jump? Can't get the small lasers involved. 75 chance to hit, or also 75. I get 5 pips if I go there. I only get 4 if I do this, so if I jump I get 1 extra defensive bonus. Uh, and my left arm is damaged, so I want to expose my right side. I go actually here. It's still at 75%. Yeah. I'm going to keep slightly further away. This goes my right arm. 
and I need two shots to hit the middle. And I only have a 33% chance. I'm gonna try anyways. Didn't get it. Didn't get any of them actually. But we can probably get another turn to shoot at him. Where he goes. Okay, so here we're not going to reserve. Oh, actually we might. This guy is in a late phase. Because he took an initiative hit. Yeah, so we're going to reserve. Let that panther go first. Take another PPC hit. Reporting. Major armor loss. I'm here. Um... Commander. This Jenner is going to do the killing blow here. And get three, four evasion. And we took a hit on the left. We'd like to expose right, but we can't turn if we go there. So we'll probably kill. Acknowledged. Just fire as is. Locking in all weapon systems. Seven. Standing by. Uh, and we're left arm damage. You want to expose the right? Center. There we go. One less target. Order. Right, let's start with her because she has less kind of choice targets available. I uh, can't get anybody on a front shot from over there, so I'm going to jump over here. Copy that. So front. Um, I'm actually more worried about the commando. Am I? The SRMs are going to spread out. The PPC could pour somebody, could damage somebody. Maybe I'll shoot the commando. Uh, SRM 6 is 48 damage. We're going to shoot. Okay. Now we know the panther, just with a chance to hit. What can I do for you? We can take too much in the rear. No, we should be okay. Good precision shots. How much am I doing here? Seventy-five percent chance. If I do precision. 85 and yeah, we we'll probably afford this. What's a guarantee to kill and to get the hit rate up? And since we don't seem to have more enemies left, it seems to Did just be these four them? guys. Poor target choice there, so four evasion pips, and you could have taken someone else in the back or weakened someone else. Waiting for orders. Uh, so we actually want to just punch him in the back. Move into position. Engaging. Uh, 
Standing by. So I'm shooting the back. Can't do so with a friend in the way. I copy. It was a very easy mission. <clears throat> it's okay, just getting us warmed up. Um, three missiles on a commando with six jump jets. Or three energy, two laser. Awesome. Can you feasibly get Three missiles. If you have an SRM4, one ton of ammo is 25 shots. So if you put three SRM4s at six tons and give it two tons of ammo, so then you'd be shooting 16 of Ollie, which means you'd get 12 shots with two tons. Can you carry? Eight tons of weaponry. I'm not sure what tons of weaponry I'm carrying now. Right now, I'm carrying three lasers and two smalls, which is only four tons. I don't think it's reasonable to carry that much. I think if anything, I would grab another commando. Good, so we can now just go to the next quest mission. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Tons of money left, so we don't care. Uh, we're actually going to spend a ton of money just to get the morale bonus. Uh, we're still building stuff. Uh, so what do we care about? We care about uh, any repairs we may need to do. Um, am I ever going to use this blackjack again? That's the question. And I think the answer is no. Because the two ballistic socks are not great. Four energy, four jump jet. This is better with three missile, two energy. So we're probably going to put this into storage. to fly off to our next destination, which is 19 days away. Alternatively, we can just do missions here and it costs us no days. We have to wait one day because I'm waiting for my commando. I guess maybe that's what we're going to do. Hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. We'll do missions until we get a kind of damage mech that we need to actually fix. Um, so I got the training module, which is good. Uh, I don't need more mech bays. Morale is good. I'm okay for repair and refit so far. Okay, so we'll take another contract right here, I guess. Or do we just want to try and finish this game? We don't have 19 days of stuff to build. That's the problem. We would be wasting some days. I don't really want to do defend base ever again. Uh, it's hard and it's not particularly fun. Recovery is not particularly exciting. This is not worth it money wise. Neither of these are really worth it money wise. Okay, we're just going to travel. Calculating course now, Commander. Which means I should not have waited one day.
Uh, I think I'm going to pull the emergency shut off. I'll get minus one tech point. That's fine. I imagine the other one's worse with randomly trying to fix things. People will get injured, maybe take more medical penalty instead. Instead of tech penalty. That work order is complete, boss. Top not to work, if I may say so. Twenty days for one morale. Ten days for two tech points. Ten days for two tech points is probably good. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. We'll see about that second morale thing. Takes too many days to build that other one. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. There's all of that. Centurion done. He's actually done now. Two mediums, a small, three SRM sixes. Max up jump jets. He has two heat sinks. Four heat sinks. Heat efficiency is kind of low. Power power is good, durability is good. Movement is lower than the Shadowhawk. He's carrying slightly heavier armament. He's got an SRM-6 instead of a 4, and he's got a second medium laser. Okay. Does anyone else need to reach out with anything? So, so we're just going to be wasting mech time here. It's, it's four days of mech time. Commander mediums. The only problem is I actually didn't check if I had XP to spend. I think I do from that mission I completed. But it can probably wait. Or I can. That's okay, I don't want to go through the dialogue again. Um, it says five movement. Vindicator has also five movement. Five firepower, five durability. This is six firepower. Average range is lower. Heat efficiency is much higher on the Vindicator. It has four jump jets. It also has four jump jets. This is what? Four. Four mediums. A sm no, five mediums? Yeah, five mediums is small. And an SRM4. So five mediums is 25. And an SRM4 is four times eight is 32. So it's 125 plus 32, 157. This is 48 times 3. So there's just, yeah, whatever. Let's try them up. Try them up. Um, does it matter who goes where? Who's more likely to multi shot? I guess the Centurion's more likely to end up in a position you can't shoot from, so it can sensor lock. Those two are fine. Uh, actually, no, Light's going to come back instead of Medusa. I'm going to go inside the Commando with the lower armor. And we're slightly under -tunned. Polar, so we're cool. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention to what mission this was. Take control of the Director of Turrets. Don't allow any Director of Reinforcements to land. Destroy the Spaceport Dropship. Control center. Command interface initiated.
Okay, so this is the time limit to destroy that. Good hunting, Commander. You bring down the control center. I seem to we'll remember there being an SRM carrier in this base, which is super scary. Um. At the same time, I think I also just want to sprint before we go into the combat mode. Coordinates received. Got it. Yes, there is an SRM carrier. Are there even two SRM carriers? There are two SRM carriers, potentially a third one there. Oh god. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's ten. What is this? What is this mean debuff? Can't like look at this list. The bottom, the mean debuff. Cool buff, mean debuff. This cool buff, I guess this mean debuff is weak against melee. Okay, so I need to hit that with a bunch of SRMs. Orders? Um, so actually I'm going to reserve one phase. Because I want to see what happens if I just shoot a bunch of SRMs at it to start with. Yes, Commander. That can actually shoot me from there. Does it make more sense if I jump? I have 85 if I jump. If I walk, I also have 85. Uh, this is also unsteady ground there, apparently. I get four evasion pips if I jump. I can get side armor on this SRM if I go here. And uh, I guess we're gonna just face forward like that. Oh, I could have seen that for a second when I had the jump time. Uh, so we're shooting at it at the side here. I think I just alpha strike it. Just to make sure that it actually dies. Almost didn't dig through it. And yeah, we did hit mostly front armor there. Somebody on the forums had commented even when you're shooting at the side, you tend to hit a lot of front armor. Um, that seemed to be the case. Which is kind of interesting to note. What can I do for you? Okay, so we want to hit this guy inside. 80%. I don't think we can do any better if we get closer. Oh, we can do 85 if we get closer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Ready, set. I am gonna do a precision shot on this just to make sure they all hit this open side. Oh, it has the same armor everywhere? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do this anyways. All weapons are I'm gonna go. Make yep. Smoke them. I'm kind of curious if that's an SRM carry. I'm not sure if the best way is to just like jump behind it or jump in front of it. Definitely gonna be able to drive up and shoot me. Would I be able to kill it if I just jump at it? Waiting for orders. Possibly. If you can both shoot from the front. Give me a hundred damage plus a good amount. 
exactly. I think we're gonna try that just in case it is. That's very barrier. Can't shoot this out with smalls? We can't jump on there and shoot that. That was kind of a mistake on my part. Should have made sure that they'd both be able to shoot the same side. And now I'm going to be shooting it kind of a mix of places. Maybe it's all right on the left. Acknowledged. Doesn't seem to have worked very well at all. <laughs> I hit mostly the right. Interesting. Mostly missed because of the evasive. It's good. Took two SRMs to the nose. Barely hit, Commander. Shield arm, which is good. Yeah, it's empty. Oh. Taking shots from turrets like way across. That's not good. I didn't think that we were going to be so close to turrets after this. Strong. It's hard to step on it. The Centurion will step on it. We reserve one phase. Receiving you. Yeah, so the Centurion's gonna step on this guy. Uh, this, this one might be slightly more safe for turrets. Maybe the wall will block sight. Right side. Engaging jump jets. All weapons committed. Enemy unit destroyed. Hmm. This is a bulldog, look at the tanky ones. Try to shoot it from the back. Quite a bit of armor even in the back. A ways off from dying, even. Ready for orders. Mm 
Affirmative. Oh, your decision's right here. Let's see if you this. Locking in all weapon systems. Man. <laughs> this is pretty thick. Uh, thank you. Okay, the decision's right with the other man. Oh, I'm annoyed that this guy can be seen. Let's take a picture for no reason. Luckily, that's all means. I think we're gonna have to be lucky twice in a row, though. I'm only one. Unfortunately, that's what the dog's in. Shoot us in the back. We have a lot of evasion, so it won't be too bad. Trying to regenerate. Not too bad. Yes, Commander. We just found this guy. Targeting for physical attack. Enemy vehicle destroyed. So oh, this car is gonna come under our control now. So I'm gonna move and brace. I kinda wanna see the confirmation that the turrets are ours. Ready for orders. Got it! Okay, so at least they're offline, right? Because they're silver. So they're not going to shoot at me. Oh, except that they are shooting at me? Or is that a mech? Okay, so the turrets are ours. Good to go. Okay, so who's acting? There's a light mech way over there. So there's a Jenner and a Panther. I want to act before the Centurion, so I actually want to act in the light phase. Commander. If I go here, I can shoot my lights, or my smallest, rather. Engaging jump jets. Spread damage all around. Not particularly useful. Um. Sign. Standing by. I think I'm actually going to reserve this one because I might want to sensor lock something. This Jenner might move forward, for example. Shot, I'm not sure why. Standing by. That bulwark? I do. 
So I should probably just shoot this guy. Uh, and I should probably precision strike him. I copy. Might be some good salvage there. For evasion. Actually, a fair number of those still hit us. Commander. So I think the Jenner is going to jump and sensor lock. It's actually the same to just walk. Because I'm not going to be able to have good shots there. Yeah, so we'll jump in sensor lock. Uh, do I want to make myself a target? No. Maybe? Yeah, I'd rather be a target than the commando. Sensors locked on. Pretty sure that's the hunchback, if I remember correctly. I certainly I hope he's not going to be able to just walk up the mountain and shoot me from there. My chance to hit is terrible. Is it because I'm at far range? It is, right? So then I'm at extreme range. I jump and I get closer. 40? Was it before I walked? Also 40. Forty is kinda of bad. Just try and close the distance. And then uh, we can actually precision shot this to get it up to something reasonable. Sixty percent? That's like pretty full armor. It is because it's long range. Uh, we're gonna try it anyways. Time to die. We just want to get some damage out there. We might be able to kill this person with a light mech. We'll be getting the next round. The precision shot also knocks it back in initiative phase. So we'll get to shoot it at first before it gets to shoot with our lights. Or you never know, maybe a turret will rear court. That's quite good. This turrets are being quite good. Perfect. So taking out its front torso ended up being useful. So the turrets can finish it off. Um, I have two mediums and a small in my right arm, so I'm afraid of this hunchback. Uh, if I go here, the hunchback might come and shoot me. Um, that man's braced, that man's braced. This is the only one who's not braced, so I don't think I actually want to go that way very much at all. to let them move first. Standing by. It's okay, we're still okay. So we have a lot of evasion pips on everyone except this commando. Uh, if he walks up there and shoots the commando, I'll be quite sad, but otherwise I think everything's fine. The other thing I could do is I could jump jet. 
here and shoot him. I could expose my left. If they see 20 hits me, I'm just gonna get a huge hit. No, I'm gonna wait. I think I'm far enough away that even if you climbed up there, if you took an AC 20 shot, you'd be at long range, so it wouldn't be super effective. Yeah, so he did walk up there and he did shoot at the commando, but the AC 20 missed because it's at too far a range. I still had two evasion pips. Uh, and now we can try and kill this hunchback. Yes, which is Commander. Nice. Waiting on you, Commander. And in fact, I can jump up behind him, which is even nicer. Uh, I want to expose back. Not necessarily. lasers. Do uh, we want to turn off an SRM4? I don't think so. I think we will accept this minor heat damage. Here it comes. My heat's getting pretty high. Good to go. Okay, um, so I mostly want to see if I can make something happen here. Firing jump jet. Still nothing, eh? Waiting for orders. I don't really want to dig through that much front armor. Um, the thing is, I would get to knock him down if I shot him again. And we do have a lot of missiles. And I can't shoot anybody else anyways. So I guess we're just gonna shoot because it doesn't really hurt not to. Copy that. It's a shame we have to dig through front armor. That's good though for the minus one initiative. That means the centurion's gonna get to shoot him in the back for sure first. Uh, so the dragon still has to move? He's already moved. The dragon has already moved. Okay. So that means we can like go up here and shoot this guy in the front. Uh, and our right arm is exposed, so we want to show left. So just good call shots. I wish they would pick better locations to shoot that. Right arm is pretty useless and head is pretty useless. Mr. Commando, not surprised though. So the center torso has 46 health, which is two medium lasers, which means if we can call shot with a 50% odds, we'd be pretty happy. 
and we have 70% odds, which is quite good. Uh, who's this person? That's the trebuchet. So we should reserve down while we have all our evasion. Uh, can we break this arm? These two medium lasers? That would be not frivolous to break. Um, gonna walk here and we want to expose our left arm possible. Can't. Well if they want to break our right arm I don't think we're really gonna be able to stop. Oh I also want to be directing inside. Two pips? I don't know if I like two pips. What's he got? He's five two mediums? I'm not terribly worried. Okay, we'll go with that. So the goal here is just to make him lose this arm before he takes his turn. Just so he has less things to shoot with. Uh, we'll turn off. Medium laser? Is the small lasers are more heat efficient. We didn't even take off the right arm. Huh. Uh, and this we're going to reserve down, oops, because they only have the trebuchet. Morning. Detecting mech warrior injury. Oh, our arm has five health left. You. So I think I want to get as many evasion pips as I can while still maintaining good accuracy. So something like here, with 80% chance to hit. Is it the same as I have right here? Yeah, it is. So we can go like this, threaten that, and try and do two shots to hit here. Got it. There we go. Good to go. Okay, so the trebuchet rear shot is kind of interesting. Um, part of his rear is already opened up. Looks like the most enticing choice right now. You betcha. Uh, are we, we're gonna overheat if we do that, so we're just gonna fire the missiles. Targeting enemy six. We're just gonna take that missile shot. I'll take the two evasion pips. Copy that. Hope our commando doesn't get kind of too screwed by that dragon. Shoot everything because why not? Maybe we'll take through the side. Taking the shot. Almost dug through. I really hope this dragon doesn't tear up our commando too much. Oh boy. Alright, this commando needs to kind of GTFO.
Yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to fight heavies and assaults with these lights, or I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful. If that mech was bigger and had more firepower, it probably would have been trouble. Very glad that Panther decided not to shoot the commander. Might have killed him. Minor damage, commander. Nothing to see here. It's his left. It has a medium laser. It's more interesting to hit him from the opposite side. Um, he's the last enemy over here. So as long as we can kill him, we're okay. I think we can. You know what? Let's reserve. Make a better decision after. What can I do for you? Can I get that dragon? Can. Let's go for that dragon. Uh, we're gonna take no a PPC play. to the back. It's probably okay. Uh, we can slightly overheat. Tell me what to shoot. Getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Orders. Chance is not the greatest, but we can probably precision strike. Make sure we don't even need to, we can be all shot after them. This health has 100 health still. The turrets will probably kill it, but just in case. Hope we can salvage that. I just really need to make sure that the commander doesn't get killed here. What's up, boss? Move order received. All weapons are go. I think he's just going to start running towards our objective, which is that building. Uh... Man, if I take a PPC shot, I'm just dead. Can I just like jump somewhere that's out of sight uh, in my left arm? So I want to expose my left arm as much as possible, just in case. In case that panther hits me. And I can brace. So this panther even survives. The clock is ticking and that dropship is getting close. I'd recommend that you prioritize targeting the control center, Commander. Please don't take three. It's okay. Most of my sections didn't even hit the rear section, hit the arm. Okay. Waiting for orders. Sure. Aye, aye. This is better to just sprint here and then dump it up. 
then we have to defend this, right? Let's see if you remember defending this. Uh, oh, I guess you can't walk down from there. Moving out. See how much health it says, please. It's not allowed. Engaging jump jets. Hundred. Which means you might not kill it. Yeah, you hit the broad side of the barn. Good job. Uh, so it was really risky on the commando there. One wound, it's not too bad. Uh, okay, so... The Centurion AL is the laser version? You could get, what, four smalls? No, four mediums, three smalls, and two SRM6s. It's reasonable. Tribute just seems like a worse version of the Centurion. Oh, it has five movement as its advantage. You can get a full trebuchet. It's probably interesting. So we get normal equipment. Ah, plus two damage. And an SRM4. Plus two damage on an SRM6. Um... Am I tempted by the Centurion? Minus three missile, two laser. I think three missile is going to be better, just because you can get plus two damage on missiles. Panther's not interesting. Four energy, two missile. It's four energy, two missile. But it has three support. This doesn't have three support. Uh, but maybe I don't need small lasers too much. The higher movement is interesting. I could build a full trebuchet. Otherwise, I can start getting a hunchback. But a hunchback is not interesting. No, a hunchback doesn't make sense. I could get a Jenner part, but I don't think I would really want it. So I can Jenner. Do I have to get two missile slots? I think we're gonna build the trebuchet and then maybe we'll randomly get a Jenner. No, so we get the trebuchet. Yeah, I was thinking that might be the other thing because there were so many trebuchet parts and I had a higher chance of randomly getting it. That's okay, we don't really need the Jenner. We're not even using the missile slots on the general right now, but I think we probably should. The only thing is I'm not sure what I want to remove. I probably have to remove jump jets to fit on a missile slot. 
the jump shits are kind of useful. Uh, I, otherwise, I have to reduce armor. He said there's griffins to buy. Three energy, three missile. And a lot of movement. That's a lot of movement. Durability is five. It's a medium. Three, six, seven. Seven movement, five durability. Seven movement, five durability. And it has three and three. How does that compare to a Shadow Hawk and Centurion? Same durability. This has more durability. This is the same durability. So Shadow Hawk probably has more. Five, seven. So Shadow Hawk has the same kind of stats. It has seven movement, five. I don't know, it's six durability. So maybe the Shadowhawk is just better, but the Shadowhawk doesn't have 3 and 3. But I'm not even sure if I could fit any more. I mean, like, I can't even put more than these SRMs. Okay, so that should be easy-ish to repair. The Commandos, also pretty easy to repair, okay. Um, so I got plus damage on missiles. So the question is, who puts, who takes the plus damage on missiles? Uh, first choice is the commando. We could do a refit of the commando, um, but we would need what five tons, which we clearly don't have. Um, we can easily just put it on a centurion or shadowhawk. Um, probably on the Shadowhawk, because the Shadowhawk's extra movement is better. I think this Centurion is just kind of worse than the Shadowhawk. Do they carry the same amount of armor? It's unfortunate you can't see the armor. Oh, you can see the armor count there. 767, but I can't see here because it's task of progress. Ha, ha, ha. It actually has less armor. Than this Vindicator? Even though it weighs more? Is that right? I'm just curious if it affects their max armor. His max armor is 160 and 80 structure. It's because my legs aren't as full, right? 160 and 120 in those four sections. 140 and less. Yeah, it's just because I have more leg armor on. Centurion definitely carries more. Right, the mech's armor is just influenced by their uh, the weight of the mech. It can always be adjusted. The movement can't be adjusted though, so the griffin moves faster than Centurion. So Centurion is just a bad Shadowhawk, and I should try and get a second Shadowhawk. Can I not look at like a. Partial mech? Oh yeah, partial mechs right now. Yeah, so I have almost another Shadowhawk. Otherwise I could buy a Griffin part. It would take me three. It would be 1.8 million, and I could have a Griffin. Just considering if it's worth getting this instead of a Shadowhawk. 
So this is three energy, three missile. Shadowhawk is going to be... Three ballistics, which I'm not going to use. Because they're too heavy. So I can get two extra energy hard points, but I don't think I have the heat for it. The Shadowhawk also has six melee rating, and the Griffin only had five. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to save. I'm going to just make sure that I can actually buy this. I think I will buy it because I have nothing else to spend. So 6 times 3 is going to be 1.8, and I'll have uh, two and a half left, which is still a lot. I can also buy LRMs. I'm also kind of curious where the slots are. New equipment available. So I have to buy three griffins. And then I have a griffin. Fight, and what am I going to put away? Uh, Trebuchet has four energy, two missile, which I guess is better than a missile slot's better. They're heavier. Ideally, I'm just replacing the Centurion, right? That was the plan. Because the movement is so low. Five. The movement is also five. Heat efficiency is really high in the Vindicator. But we're going to need the big impacts of the SRMs. Four energy, two. I would never take four energy, two. Either I'd go energy or I would go missiles, right? It says five movement. This is a better missile boat. The reason I'd only take two missile points is because I can't fit three LRM points on. I just don't think five medium lasers is going to be enough damage to make a Vindicator worthwhile later in the game. Plus SRMs do stability damage, which is relevant, because you can knock down and then do call shots. So we're going to send the Vindicator to storage. And then we're going to make this Griffin our new favorite medium. Right, because he has seven movement instead of Or no, he has the same movement, it's just that he has extra energy hard points. Okay, the other reason he's better than the Shadowhawk is because the Shadowhawk had a missile slot in the head, which meant it can only fit an SRM4. So here I can put three SRM6s if I want. Uh, probably not going to use this PPC. SRMs, that's 16 shots each, which is fine. 12, 18. Oh no, it's 18. 6, 12, 18. 18 into 300. It's almost 20. If it was 20, it would be 5 each. 5 shots each is not a lot.
18. Oh no no, sorry, I wasn't doing that right. This is 18 into 400, this is 20 shots. No. This is 18 into 300, so it's 20, 5, 10, 15 shots, 15 shots is fine. This SRM4 will go into the Shadowhawk, it's only the Shadowhawk, hit that. Um, the armor. So this is interesting because this side of the mech is dead. Um, we don't need to put too much armor on it. On the negative side, we don't have really tonnage for lasers, but maybe we don't need lasers. Set on jump jets, we can just put like a small laser on, or we can remove some heat sinks. This takes 14 heat, so if we do the three of them, it's 42, so we would make 12 heat a turn. Twelve heat a turn minus six, we're making six heat a turn, plus we can jump. But we're not going to jump if we're using Bulwark. So either we put on half a ton of armor or we put on a small laser. I don't really see us putting on a small laser for any real purpose. It forces us to get closer than we're comfortable with. I think this is probably fine. If we run out of SRM ammo, SRM ammo, we just punch things. I said 18 into 300. So it's 5, 10, 15 shots, 15 shots is enough. I think we're going to put a half ton of armor. Just to make sure that we don't get killed. I really don't want that part to get blown up. That makes sense. We lost. So the Shadowhawk had another medium laser, which we lost because we bumped up one of the SRM fours to an SRM six. So basically, the difference between this and the Shadowhawk is that we get to have three SRM sixes if we choose, which is more heat efficient. Medium laser does two and a half damage per heat. This is 48 divided by 14. Three would be 42, so it's over three damage per heat. 42, and there's six left. It's almost a half. I think this is fine. Um, it's also good because we have a dead side, so we can just shield with that side if we absolutely need. Trebuchet could be used if we need it to. We want to start an mission right away. So the commando. And the Shadowhawk. I don't really want to use the Trebuchet actually. I should have kept the Vindicare. Because now the problem is if there's a contract here, I cannot do it. And I'm wasting time. If 
but I could try it. Okay, so I have to wait for the commando. There's nothing else to do. Do I not have something engineering building? No, we finish at the same time. Uh, so we do want to get some repair and refit. This costs 13,000. Don't want to pay 45,000. 12 mil. Forty-five thousand doesn't mean anything. We'll go with that one. Just because it gives fifty percent more tech points for the same amount of time. So we have to let three days pass to get the commando. And then now we could optionally run a mission using the trebuchet. He only has 600 points of armor though. 600 is still reasonable. And it can just hang in the back. Otherwise it's three days for the Shadowhawk. Could use some money. Um, so we start with the easier one, then we might have to repair, and if we repair we'll spend some time and we'll do deniable destruction with our better set of mechs. Uh, it's only 50,000 for a mech part. I'd rather have the mech part. Trebuchet. So we might do multi target with the trebuchet in the other hands. Let me put Medusa there. Uh, I also actually need to upgrade my employers. Commander. Don't need the extra health. I would like the cult shot bonus. Uh, I would like just getting some chance to hit improvements. I think Master Tactician is that important. The other option as well. An extra health, don't need that. We're going to start going gunnery just for chance to hit. Cold shot, chance to hit. Training. Orders. Increasing sprint is so so. Uh, but we do want to get to Ace Pilot. I also like Decker to not die. He's some pretty good at not dying. Max Sprint is not too valuable. Get go the cheap gunnery point and the cheap health point. Which might be more reasonable. Ace Pilot can sort of wait a bit. And the recoil penalty. Maybe even more gunnery. I'll go like that. Training complete. Let's see what we do. Waiting for orders. Um. Don't need anything there. Unsteady is not a big deal. Chance to hit is so so. Do you want to get improved call shot? This could also be relevant, so she could be the Met trebuchet pilot. Let's get tank five. Uh, I want to get the cold shot bonus, but I could also just get ten percent or five percent extra chance to hit, which is quite good. I think that's more relevant to start with. Training confirmed, Commander. Good to go. Um, okay, so evasive goes to sensor lock that we're doing. This evasive bulwark doesn't make a ton of sense. I really 
want that many people sensor lock. Like everyone's getting sensor lock. Does it make sense to have the choice between bulwark and evasive? No. Training complete. Orders. Okay, so we do actually need some amount of money now. Um, maybe we don't need any parts. We don't really need any parts. This is a low level mission, so it's probably nothing great. That covers half a month. Turrets. I don't necessarily see turrets. Oh, I see trees. Moving out. Move. Moving out. Position confirmed. I've got something. C20s, eh? Oops. Um, Good to go. Maybe I do want to shoot it with LRMs. And potentially stay in cover, but with a direct line of sight. I guess the best thing I get is that. 85% chance to hit is quite fair. I shoot 30 per salvo and I have 24, so it's 8 shots only. Sure that if I move up to that, that I'm actually able to kill it. Seventy percent chance. If I jump, I get a better shot. Also seven. Seventy seventy-five. Something from here. Yeah, it's the thing. So I'll shoot from here. Moving to position. So I'm feet efficient. The jump. Fortunately, I'm hitting front armor. I also hit some out of the side. Everything. 
Okay. Ready for orders. So give us a view of what's going on there. Moving to position. Except I should have taken this side. Interesting that it's empty here. Locking in all weapon systems. Is that literally one health? That's literally one health. What do you need? So we're gonna move here and try and hit it in the side. I think it's one health. Pretty tough tank. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Um, so I like where I am. I'll let that thing move first. Because it doesn't have line of sight on me, as far as I'm aware. It's interesting that it's going in there. I have a funny Commander. location. Move order received. It's a manticore. Fairly large. Targeting for an alpha strike. Doesn't hurt it too much. PPC SRM6 is not that scary. Waiting for orders. Roger. Waiting for orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Do you want to shoot at it? We're going to be shooting at it at the left side. It's 42 left. You can only get indirect fire. And I actually have no jump jets, eh? It's a chance to hit 85 with indirect fire, it's quite good. Alright, we'll shoot just in case. I don't really feel that that's necessary. Got it! Seven shots, there's six more after this. It didn't actually destroy it. Ready for orders. Commando wants to get it from the side. Yeah, let's make sure it comes from the side. Just like that. On my way. Targeting for an alpha strike. Vehicle trashed. Standing by. Position confirmed. Got it. Okay, mission against two tanks. Oh, that was easy. And I'm glad that I took all money and no salvage, because I literally don't think there's going to be any salvage. Yeah, sure, I got an EC20 and a medium laser. <laughs> Terrible. No one took any damage, so we can go right on another mission. Well, wasn't even a ton of money. Alright. Destroy base. Um, do 
need salvage. I only need salvage if there's a fire starter. Otherwise, I don't even care. I could use a bit of money. 120,000. Could I use money? On salvage. Even though I say a fire starter, if I win salvage, it doesn't help me. I'm more likely to buy a fire starter. After 20. If I pick a piece of salvage, I can sell it. How much does a piece of salvage sell for? A mech salvage. You can't sell mech salvage. You can't sell the scraps. I don't think I need money. Um. Sure, I feel about that trebuchet. So I think he's not fantastic. For attacking a base, maybe it'll be relevant because we can shoot at uh, missile generator, uh, not missile generators, turret generators, and turrets from afar, which might become relevant. The problem with Commando is it doesn't move fast enough to get the 5 pips. Yes, Commander. So we just want to get as close as possible to our friends here. Copy that. Waiting for orders! So here I actually want to keep my distance to an extent, so I'm going to go like this, and then I can sensor lock tell me twice. just to figure out what one of these are. Oh no, I can't sensor lock because I don't have sensor lock. I had it from the other person. Hmm. Acknowledged. Affirmative. Let's let them go first.
So this is going to be experimentation. I don't know if I get this done if they lose their evasion. They do lose their evasion. Roger that. Okay, good Dig to know. I'll do what I can. Orders. Get three. So I think I'm going to walk forward and brace. What's up, boss? Yep. I just want to see what's going to there. Yes, Commander. So I'm just going to present the target. Roger that. Standing by. So this is just to see what they have. So ideally, whatever comes out there is not really going to harm me because I have so much evasion. Yeah, so it didn't even hit me. And if it does hit me, the brace should reduce the brunt of it. Uh, and I did it with the Jenner rather than Commando because it has more health. In case something does go wrong, I'm not expecting any super dangerous vehicles. I literally got hit by just one hell around there. It's another 10, didn't get hit by anything. Waiting for orders. So now I just kind of want to sprint up to these with impunity, just so I can hit the next round. Shots. Um, that's quite weak on the side. It's reasonably strong. It might be worth taking this shot because I don't really expect to need to conserve my ammo. Here we go. Shooting the little guys. Hi, hi. If I stop this, it's gonna do 35 times 2, which breaks it anywhere except for the front. 67, no, it breaks it anywhere, including the front. Orders? You can't stop it. So you, see you, orders. you stop it from the back. This might hit the front, so. Got it. So it's gonna be like that. I suppose it's my rear armor, but it should be okay. Locked on for physical attack. Okay. Alright, the smalls. That one's gone. Um. So, do I try and kill that Waiting bulldog order. before it does something? Could, I could try. Up high. Uh, but now there's a turret that sees me. It's less good. Firing all weapons. Almost be through the side. Commander. Here we go. Assume we can't hit that guy too well. Assume we're gonna shoot this man. He only needs 
a little bit to hit him. One in either the front or the side. I also like... Two missiles in the front wouldn't kill him, we would need two in the side to kill him. We might hit him in the rear, we might miss with the mediums. I feel like we can just kill him with the mediums and I kind of want to save heat. Locking on target. Yeah. Reporting vehicle destroyed. The only way that wouldn't have killed if we hit the turret on the top or the rear. What can I do for you? She can't hit those because she doesn't run far enough. So the question is, do I want to take an LRM 10 hit? Which I think the answer is yes, but I'd much rather get closer. i just start working my way to get a better shot for the next round. Moving fast. So I'm hoping those turrets aren't too mean. It could be the quadruple AC2 turret. Lots of evasion. Didn't even take any hit. Okay, double PPC turret. Interesting. Managed to dodge one with our evasion. The hit we took was in the left shield arm, so we're not too concerned. Ready for orders. Um, can I move that? No, I can't. It's not quite close enough. Uh, we will reserve down just to make more intelligent choices. Uh, Good to go. So first of all, can she shoot from where she is? Only that. Can I hit that turret? That's what I'd really like to do. I guess I can't shoot at it because I can't see it, actually. So part of the problem is I need to be able to see it. So three, three and entrenched is better than four forward. If I'm four forward, I have eighty percent chance to move here. Also eighty. Uh, I move closer to a turret, which I do not like. Turns into the front target. So maybe if I'm lucky, I can kill this. I would need two shots to hit it in the chest, or two in the side. Target. Oh, of course we spread it all out. So Commander. the Jenner can then spot, but not the turrets. He can't spot the turrets. Standing by. I'm kind of curious if the Jenner can sensor lock. Good to go. Like run, run up four, uh, and then sensor lock a turret, and then be able to shoot the turret instead. I got a sensor trace. Because then maybe someone will, will be able to shoot it. I've got a sensor lock. Yeah, because I don't like that double PPC turret. Yes, Commander. But I just don't have the altitude to shoot it, I guess. So I think we're going to jump here to get evasion. And the entrenched. And then we'll shoot this guy who needs, uh, what, two mediums and an SRM? If a medium hits the front, it's dead. Or that side. Or that top. So that's fine. Just in case. I'm pretty sure the mediums are enough. One for the squad. Good to go. Okay. <clears throat> So, can Glitch shoot? Ya. Now she can. Excellent. What's her chance to hit? 85. Excellent. So we want to move uh, as far as possible in the right direction. And then we'll take our 85 shot. Coordinates received. So we have 30 times 4 is 120 damage. 
should actually be enough. 120 damage, and we're going to lose 15%, which is 18. So we do 102 damage. This has 82 health, so we should be able to kill this. Perfect. So that's the good part about having this trebuchet with the LRMs as opposed to the SRMs. For missions like this, it might actually be a good idea. Uh, okay, so... Can we get up to those turrets and punch them before they hit us back? The answer should be yes. Build billion dollar fighting robots. Heavy guns. Punches everything. <laughs> so it's interesting that we can try and not be seen by that one. I don't know if we're going to be able to deal with that one in the back. But we will have four evasion pips. Acknowledged. Two PPCs. That also has two PPCs. That one we don't know. I actually had a pretty good shot on that one. Um, can I go above 85? No, I can't. We're going to try and kill that one. Now let's see how you handle this. Just in case the LRMs can't reach that one. Excellent, we did get it. Turret is gone. So that's one time it's good to have the Jenner with the four medium lasers, as opposed to the Commando with the three mediums and two small ones. Um, see, like, we can't kill that, even if the three medium lasers hit. So I'm not entirely convinced it's a good idea to go up there. I probably should have waited a turn, actually. Uh, I guess shoot, there's no reason not to. Or I could have sensor locked something further. I guess that allows the Centurion to be more conservative with this heat. Here we go. Uh, that should be fine. Firing. That turret is gone. Ideally, that one just can't see us at all. Waiting for orders. And uh, she's just gonna sprint forward, which is possible. Going turbo. So the turret shouldn't be able to see any of us. Yeah. What's up, boss? So then we can just like run aye up aye. and casually destroy it. It's not even a scary turret. Confirmed. Yes, commander. Locked on. One less turret. Moving out. I'm gonna just start smashing stuff. Firing on target. Enemy structure is weakening. Waiting for orders. Locked on target. Commander. 
firing. target. on target. Very exciting gameplay. Casually breaking these defensive buildings. Tell me what to shoot. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. Receiving you. not even gonna break it. Locking on target. One less target. Standing by. Target confirmed. Get your lance to the LZ commander. I'm coming in hot. Okay. These are extremely easy missions. I'm sad that I took salvage. We'll take some of them large lasers. I should have looked at what sold for the most. See, this is what was actually important. Just by doing those missions, we actually just progress time so we can do the main mission now. So I'm going to keep pushing to get morale up. Uh, yeah, we're just traveling. going to be the best one because it's an extra option. Excellent. Griffin's almost ready, then we can put the SRM4 plus in the head of the 
for a hawk. Or, order you submitted is complete. or we can put it in a Jenner. The cost of armor. Jump jets. Jenner has four jump jets. That's two tons. Uh, we'd have to do three tons to put an SRM4 and a ton of ammo. Uh, and that would be 25 shots for one ton of ammo, which is not good use of ammo. Uh. Man, you really can't pack a lot of punch in a small mech. It really needs to be in a light mech, rather. It needs to be support, support weapons and energy. So it's going to be in the head of the Shadow Hawk. Right. Two tons of ammo. Is two tons of ammo correct? We get 12, 16 into 200, which is like 10, 12 shots. 12 shots is enough. Um, do we want to put somebody in storage? The Centurion makes for a fine replacement for either of those. Oh, we also have the cockpit mod. You know, if one of these gets damaged, or we could put the trebuchet in its place. So those gonna pay twelve thousand in fees every month. Twelve thousand is not a lot. Um, yeah, we'll keep it in case one of them gets damaged. And our Griffin is our new favorite mech, right? It has more jump jets. It has the same jump jets. Because I want to put the... oh, no, I don't want to spend time taking the cockpit mod in and out. It's okay, somebody can just get injured. Let's do a new, do a new engineering upgrade. It's hidden by the screen. We're gonna get the one morale. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. Try system could actually be interesting. Have that pods are not necessary. So we're gonna have four days of doing nothing. Job's done, Commander. It's probably enough time to just remove uh, the cockpit mod and put in the new one. Put it in our favorite mech, right? Probably takes like what two days to remove this? One day. Bog and no. Shouldn't be too hard. It's actually instant for whatever reason.
I'm not sure if we, which one of these two we like better. Head side. This also has an empty side, right? This also has an empty side, which is fantastic. So basically, we have an extra ton on the Griffin for bumping the SRM4 to SRM6 and an extra ton of ammo. So that costs two extra tons. Which went into this and half a point of armor. Okay, I can't actually put the cockpit mod in there. That's one of the problems. In the Griffin, I can because the head's not filled with an SRM4. Just one day, which is perfect. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Okay, then we have three days. We're wasting time. That's okay. Uh, and I'm actually going to stop for lunch now, and I'll continue afterwards. So thanks for watching for now.